Hey guys, I'm making this video because um, I've seen something on the internet that's really kind of concerned me. Um, it's this new fad that's going around. I mean, I guess it's been around for a while, but it's really started to kind of pick up momentum. Sorry, I'm just adjusting my computer. Um, it's really picking up momentum, especially in like um, people who are into the whole like natural thing and like organics and even like the health and beauty people are kind of getting into it now too. And if you don't know what the no poo is, um, it involves this which is apple cider vinegar, um, and also baking soda. I guess they do uh, baking soda rinse, and then they condition with um, apple cider vinegar, organic, of course. I mean, <laughs> can't do anything else. Um, and I don't think people research it. They go on these blogs, and they go on these YouTube videos, and they see these people going no poo, and they think that it's really good for them, but they really don't know the harmful side effects that can happen because they don't take the time to research it. Um, lucky for you, um, if you're watching this, if you're no poo, you really want to pay attention, and if you're one of my viewers who are thinking about going no poo, or have never heard of no poo, um, listen so you can know not to go no poo. Um, what was I saying? Um, so yeah, I guess people who are no poo, they will use, like I said, baking soda rinses and then apple cider vinegar to condition. Um, I don't really understand what the problem with pooing is. It's such a weird word. Um, because I do it at least once a day. Um, I don't go more than a day um, without pooing. I mean, some people, some people do, like my friend can go a week without pooing and be fine. But I usually do it once a day, sometimes more, sometimes... Um, two or three times depending like if I went to the gym or I went for a run because the stuff kind of just like builds up you know and um you kind of just feel gross and like you just got to get it out so um it's fine like I'm healthy I'm happy and I don't I I'm not no poo like I poo and I researched it I went on wikipedia I went um googled it and I went on yahoo and yahoo <laughs> Yahoo Answers, and I got my answers, and they're not good, guys. If you go no poo, um, I see these people on these videos going no poo for a week, two weeks, three weeks, some people six months to a year going no poo, and, you know, I researched it, like I said, on Google and Wikipedia and Yahoo Answers, and you can actually end up dying from going no poo and going no poo for too long, um, and it just worries me, guys. Like, I don't want you guys to get in this whole no poo fad and end up in the hospital or dead. Like, it's okay to poo, and it's not like it's any worse for the environment doing it. I mean, we all cultures have been um, pooing um, for thousands of years. I mean, we all do it differently, but in some way or another, we all we all poo, um, and we've all been fine. I mean, animals do it too. Like Jazzy over here. Jazzy. Jazzy over here. Yeah. She poos. Like, she likes it. She's a happy and healthy dog. Um, so I just want to warn you guys, like, don't go no poo because I don't want you dead. Like, the physiological effects of it alone are just, I'm just shocked that people haven't done their research and finding out that going no poo um, it can be extremely dangerous. So I just made this video for you guys who are my followers to let you know if to not to go no poo, um, for you no poo people, um, just stop it because you're only hurting yourself and using vinegar and baking soda is no substitute for pooing. So hope you guys are happy and hope you guys are healthy and I hope you don't go no poo because it's really, really bad for you.